What's up guys? I have an unboxing here and this is from Drip Club. Drip Club um, is another one of these companies that does um, e-liquids and e-juices by like a monthly basis. Um, the difference is that they have like a profile so you can kind of put in your specific wants and needs in uh, what kind of juice you want and when you get your monthly package it better suits or better fits what you're looking for. So, this is my first experience with them, so I figured I would uh, open the box here on camera using the uh, Case Rust Lock, the smooth G10 handles. Beautiful knife, been EDCing this as of late. Actually, since I made my new EDC ATB video, um, my regular EDC has changed, so I should do another one of those as well. But anyway, going to open this and see what we got going on right here. Alrighty. Now, um, I'm very excited to try this. I put in the, the profile that I like zero milligrams, so I'm very hopeful that there, none of them have any nicotine. All right, so good packaging. Tell you a little box, no wasted space in there. Get that out of there. All right, well, good looking box. Drip Club, we ship, you drip. That's catchy, I like it, all right. Let's see how this particular box opens. Opens like this. Okay. Mm. All right. Tips to the perfect unboxing. <laughs> Document, take a picture or film your unboxing. I like that. It's cool. Share, share experience with the Drip Club community, Facebook, and Instagram. And enjoy. Enjoy the juices we picked just for you. So we got here Drip Club decal. Pretty cool. All right, uh, welcome to the Drip Club. You are officially an exclusive member, a dripper as we like to call it. Uh, we are committed to crafting the best experience for our drippers, whether it's subscribing to our customized sample packs, purchasing from our online store, or engaging with the Drip Club staff. Uh, one thing I will mention is that if you like the stuff that you get from this uh, company, you can order that same juice directly from their website as opposed to going to you know other sources for that. That I like, that's a nice little bonus. I'm not gonna read the rest here, you can pause it right there if you wanna read the rest. See the back, same thing. Complete your profile, samples, use your points. There's a point system here as well. So very cool, pause it there if you wanna read that. All right, next thing is a disclaimer. Okay, let's read this. Warning, products included in the Drip Club boxes contain nicotine. All right, now let me stop for one second and say, um, this has been, this uh, actually came up a couple times People talk about the uh, zero milligrams, you know, and, and people don't want nicotine in their juices and stuff like that. Uh, keep in mind, they have to write that there's that it contains nicotine. If it contains a certain amount, even, you know, minuscule amounts, because nicotine is a poison, which it is, in large doses, it will kill you. Um, they have to write there. I would put the equivalent of this being if you buy a, a chocolate bar, it says that you know it was processed in the same factory that processes peanuts, all right, in case you have a peanut allergy. Doesn't necessarily mean there's peanuts in your chocolate. It's just there's always that slight possibility that there's the tiniest bit of peanut in there and they have to warn you legally. All right, so that's what this is. Um, it goes on here, once again, pause and read if you like. California Position 65 warning, this product contains nicotine, a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects or reproductive harm. So anyway, uh, the disclaimer is there. All right, I see a pipette. This is a pipette. Um, I first saw one of these when I was getting into whiskey. You use the pipette to drip a little water in there to open the whiskey up and stuff like that. Basically, it's just a dropper. It's a long dropper, but it's um, there's incremental spots on here so you can pick up exactly how much liquid you want. But you squeeze in, you know, it's a dripper. That's all it is. That was a nice addition. Um, maybe this means that there's bottles in there that don't have their own drippers, so they provide this for you. If that's the case, it's better than nothing. So we will see. All right, so nice packaging here. Lots of tissue paper, which I'll reuse for shipping. Let's put that back in here. All right. Ooh. Ah, I smell some. I smell it. I don't know what I smell, but it smells sweet. So we have two packs in here. It's an interesting shape. Bottle. Alright, 
Yeah. Let's look at these first. Is that like the drip? Yeah. I like that. It's different. All right. So this, this is a glass bottle, a glass square bottle. Crypto Scientology. And this is Sasquatch. <laughs> I love Sasquatch. And zero milligrams. So I love Sasquatch. I love the bottle. I love that it's zero. What flavor is it? Bigfoot, a.k.a. Sasquatch, is a giant ape-like creature mainly sighted in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. Yes, we know that. Um, as far as the profile here, there's no specific uh, flavor profile on here, but I can tell you that I did happen to notice uh, um, on the website that this was some kind of a banana cream. So let me get a little whiff of this. Oh my God, yes. Straight up, let me give it to Christina a smell. Straight up bananas and cream and, and just super like banana cream pie kind of a smell. Mm. Really, really sweet. That's great. Banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah. Yeah, banana <laughs> Laffy Taffy. That's a good description. All right, so this has a dripper of its own. It's got a cool bottle, cool artwork. I'm into Sasquatch, Bigfoot, believing it all. So I'm, I'm sold on this. That's pretty cool. And I love banana, so we will see what that's all about. All right, this one is Vape Chemist, and this is Pim, Philippine Mango. Cool. Interesting. Zero, zero for the uh, content there. This is a super hard plastic bottle. Almost feels like glass. Oh, that's just that's just straight up mango. So very fruity. Very straightforward there. All right, let's see what else we got here. It's all different shape and size bottles. Um, let's see, two, four, six, six <laughs> bottles like all together. Yeah, let's see this one. It's this teeny tiny one. This is as a sample of Daydream from Crave. Crave vaping, uh, vaping. Excuse me. Daydream. Yeah, let's see what this one's all about. All right, this is why they sent the pipette. This is basically a sample bottle, so there's no dripper in it. Uh, it's just an assumption, but I guess if you get a bigger bottle, it comes with a dripper. So let me see what this smells like. Oh my god. Oh, you know what that smells like? And I think Christina's really like this. That to me, I'm gonna let her say it. I'm gonna let her say it because I know what that smells like. And it's one of her well, I don't want to give a clue. What does that smell like? <laughs> She's smiling. Well honestly to me it smells like caramel corn. Really? What are you thinking of something? Like? I'm smelling uh tiramisu. No. Oh my god, absolutely. You don't smell the coffee and the, and the no. cream and everything else? Nope. Like a deep espresso and the creaminess? I'm going to have to look that one up. No, this is more like a... Um, this is definitely like a caramel corn. It's got a, a buttery... Yeah, there's a buttery richness to it. Oh, let me smell it again. Yeah, well, Tiramisu doesn't have buttery net richness to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's got like uh No, butter in it. <laughs> 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 trying to pull a fast one. Not the Tiramisu I make, apparently. I've got loads of butter in mine. No, I don't. I don't know. That smells really, really good, though. All right, I'm going to have to look that one up. It smells delicious. All right, next one. Um, organic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what does that say? I'm not going to tell her what it says. 100%. Oh, here we go. 100% VG as well. This is something else. People are, uh, a lot of people are leaning towards 100% VG liquids. Uh, so apparently, some people just don't like the PG. It causes more of a throat irritation for some people. Um, the VG is natural. That's the vegetable glycerin as opposed to a man-made, uh, you know, the PG. Let me smell this one. Okay. All right, here. You smell that one without looking at the bottle and tell me what that smells like. Gus snoring. What do you think? It smells kind of chocolatey. A little chocolatey? Yeah. All right, go ahead and read the bottle. Can I show What's that saying? Tasty tiramisu. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to vape that to see what it yeah. really tastes like. To me, this one, it smells more like tiramisu than Definitely that. Definitely not, but... dude. That's like so buttery. It's so caramel popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to see. Moving on. Um, yellow berry from the potion. Cool. All right, this one's got that security seal. I like that. You know, it's has been tampered with. Even though the other ones could have been. 
Ooh. This smells like uh, lemon flavored icy. Here, smell this one. I'm, I'm saying lemon, like, you know, the white. All right. You know, you, I forget what it is, Mario's or whatever. It's like the, the ices that you scrape in the summertime. It's like a little cup. That's so specific. <laughs> that smell, yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. Lemon, Ita Italian ice. Lemon Italian ice. To me, it's Luigi's. Quiet. To me, listen, quiet. To me, what it smells like <laughs> is more excited. of like a cherry lemonade. Cherry lemonade? Mm -hmm. You smell cherry in there? Like a cherry lemonade. I'm totally smelling Luigi's brand lemon Italian ice. You know what this smell reminds me of exactly? Did you ever have that, um, uh, it's this bubble gum. It's like, yes, kid bubble gum. It's like Hubba Bubba. Bazooka? No, Hubba Bubba. How about Bubba? How about nah. Bubba gum? And they have a cherry lemonade flavor smell just like this. All I ate when I was a kid was Double Bubble, which is the best cheap bubble Since gum ever. Old. <laughs> I'm not old. <laughs> Get out of here, I'm old. Oh man, it smells good. All right. Well, they all seem very appealing. All right, last one here is Gemini Vapors, and this is Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. That sounds exotic. Um, all right, well, there's a seal on here. Let's crack the seal. See what I think. Oh my God. All right, I know what this smells like. And this is one of my favorite exotic fruits. It smells like uh, lychees to me. Sorry, Gus is dead asleep. He had a, uh, he had to go to the vet today and Got something in his eye, so he's on some medicine and knocked him out with some pain meds. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be rhythmatically farting and blaming it on the dog, but I'm not. He's really just uh, snoring. Anyway, all right, here, last one. Give that a smell. Oh, that's this bubble. It's a cool bottle. That smells like lychee fruit to me. Straight up dragon eyes when you go to the Chinese buffet, the weird fruit that's there. Absolutely delicious to me, anyway. Really refreshing. Like a, like a delicious fruit punch. Yeah. Alright, so there it is. Um, I like the way all these smell, and I like them all for different reasons, but I think my favorite of all of them has to be this daydream. Uh, I, I have to look, first of all, I have to look this up. Of course, it, has, it happens to be the tiniest bottle, too. It smells so amazing, I just want to drink it. To me, it's, to me it's like caramel popcorn. Think about the caramel popcorn. Alright, you know what? I'll give you that. Yeah. It smells like poppycock. Yeah, I never had that. Yeah, I didn't think you did. <laughs> it's caramel popcorn with uh, peanuts in it. That's, that's all. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad loves that stuff. Poppycock. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, I forget the other brand of it. That was a brand of it, not what it is. Just caramel corn peanuts. Anyway, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go with that. It smells very much like that. I don't know why. At, at first, first sniff, I was really thinking of like a nice big sheet cake filled with tiramisu, creamy mascarpone cheese. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, but anyway. All right. That, well, all right. What's in tiramisu besides what do you have? You have mascarpone cheese, right? Huh? Mascarpone cheese? No. Isn't that? I thought that's in tiramisu. No. You have lady fingers and usually soak yeah. in an espresso thing. Or you, you have use this like cream. biscotti. Yeah, then yeah. you have the special cream that you make for it. It's just sweet, kind of simple cream. Delicious to it. It's kind of specific to it. And then you have a cocoa thing on top. That's it. You put espresso in it too, right? I said, I said the lady fingers are, are Oh, all right. Yeah, espresso. yeah. There's no cheese or anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, and we're going to look this up, but I am fairly confident there's mascarpone cheese in most tiramisu recipes. We will see. But that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have to try this stuff. Um, I like it so far. I like the variety of different companies here. These are all companies I haven't even tried yet. So it's really nice. The whole concept behind here is, is being a sampler. And, you know, I don't necessarily want to sample every flavor from the same two, three companies. So it's nice that there's such a variety of things here. It nailed it in the fact that as far as the uh, flavor profile that I, I marked down, um, these all fit them. Uh, it's all within what I was looking for. There are certain things I didn't want. I didn't want specifically tobacco flavored things. I didn't want um, specific citrus uh, flavors or anything like that. So uh, they they at least pick from my profile and they are all zero milligrams. So I can actually try all of them and enjoy them and uh, certainly review them for you. I will review this. No matter what this is, I will review that. And I'll tell you, I'll probably review Sasquatch too. 
just because it's pretty damn cool. And if the other ones are really good, I'll review them as well. Or if they're really, really bad, I'll review them. The middle of the road stuff, you know, for, for uh, juices, I probably won't bother reviewing. If something's really, really good or really horrible, that's when I feel like, you know what, I should let other people know about it. If it's kind of middle of the road, you don't want to hear like, oh, this grape flavor one tastes like grape and this apple is kind of like apple. No, you want to hear, that's an amazing apple flavor, the best I've ever had in my life, or this tastes like garbage. You know, that's what's going to be helpful as far as the review is concerned. At least that's my opinion. I have been wrong before. So anyway, all right, so there it is. I will let you guys know what I think of this stuff, but pretty cool. I like being exposed to different companies. Uh, Drip Club is very popular. I think they have their own forum too, so you can talk about different flavors with other members. It's interesting. There's a lot of different companies that uh, are doing a very similar thing out there, so a lot of competition. But anyway, I'll let you guys know what I think of these in the future, and I'll probably do an update video on Drip Club in general, talking about my experience with it as time goes on. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Take care.